Have your kids ever whined that they are the only ones without a smartphone? If so, hey, congratulations, parent. You have stood your ground, worked hard to protect your kids. However, in today's culture, the number of kids getting smartphones in elementary school is increasing. In fact, my third grader told me she was the only one of her friends without a smartphone a few months ago. So how do we hold on to our convictions, but also provide our kids with the language to explain why they do not have a smartphone to their friends? We'll tackle this in today's episode of Fridays Are For Families. Welcome to another episode of Fridays Are For Families, where we seek to empower and equip you to grow as a disciple and disciple maker of Jesus Christ. This month, as we talk about technology, we want to draw your attention to one piece of digital media that we at Pathway believe in so much that we want to provide it to you for free. It's called Right Now Media. This resource is like Netflix, but for intentional discipleship. There are over 20,000 Bible study videos you can access. There are kids shows, content for adults and teenagers, kids, and, and everyone in between. You can access Right Now Media on their website or an app on any smart device. You can stream it night and day, whatever you may be curious to learn about or study together as a family or an individual. So if you haven't accessed your Right Now Media account yet, we want you to send us your email at family at lifeatpathway.com and we'll get you connected. Now, let's get back to our Fridays Are For Families video as we talk about technology. The decision to give our child a smartphone is a family decision that should be well thought out and tailored to the maturity of each of our children. However, our kids certainly know how to provide pressure to this decision, don't they? None of us want our children to feel like outcasts or to feel like they don't fit in. And in a world where social media allows kids to have an online social life, it's easy for kids to feel left out when they don't have access to that world. The article, What Kids Can Say to Friends When They Don't Have a Smartphone, from the website Protect Young Eyes, is a really helpful resource to help us as parents empower our kids while still holding on to our family's ideals. Here are a few suggestions that they give. You can tell your kids that they don't owe an explanation as to why their parents have this rule. They could just blame their parents as being weird or simply say, it's a family rule. We can take that blame, right parents? But maybe you have a child who prefers to give a more detailed explanation. For these kids, help them to form words around the topic, such as, my parents have read the research and say that it's not good for me. Or, my parents can't find a benefit in me having a cell phone. Parents, we can help our children to understand that these rules are loving guidelines for them, similar to the rules we place around when they can drive a car or when they can eat junk food. They are boundaries meant to help our kids to mature and flourish in healthy ways. Do you want more information about exploring technology for kids? Check out Protect Young Eyes for more information. Thanks for joining us for this week's Fridays Are For Families episode. We would love to hear your thoughts and questions when it comes to technology and your kids. You can share them with us by either commenting on the video on YouTube or Facebook, or by emailing us at family at lifeatpathway.com. See you next week. Oh,